Hey there Clashes, one boza for you here and today I've got an episode on how to do go wipe at Town Hall 8. And as you can see I'm up in Masters League right now with this Town Hall 8 and the only way I can really stay up here is if I'm pretty good at go wipe because it's a lot of hard bases up here. Fortunately I did find one base that was a, a Town Hall 8. Up here I'm going to show you the replay and break it down for you and it also works really well in Wars. Uh, if you're facing other Town Hall 8s, and, and even a 9 if you want a 2 star or a 9. Uh, so let's go to the replays here. Okay, first of all, you see I've got 2 P.E.K.K.A.s, 2 Golems, 20 Wizards, 5 Wall Breakers. I've got a maxed P.E.K.K.A. in my Clan Castle, uh, level 10 Barb King, 2 Heal Spells, and 1 Rage Spell. Now I've been Town Hall 8 for a while, so all my stuff is almost maxed out for this Town Hall. So it's a little bit easier for me than if you were to just be starting a Town Hall 8. However, against a base like this that I'm looking at right here, it's not a, quite a max Town Hall 8. It's more of a max Town Hall 7 with an extra mortar. Um, so it should be kind of fairly easy to at least 2 star this with lower troops. So what you want to do first is you want to draw drop your golems wherever you can draw the clan castle at and see so his clan castle is right here in the middle and I know it's near the the ring will be near this town hall so and I want to get rid of the town hall quickly as well because it has a lot of HP so I'm gonna come in through this side and also you want to drop your golems first to maybe trigger any traps as well so you drop, I drop my two golems, just a little bit of space apart to try to, you know, uh, widen their range of things, of the defenses attacking them. And see, they, they tripped four big bombs and two spring traps right there. So now, behind my golems, I dropped my wizards, and you can see I cleared out this entire area right here so that my P.E.K.K.A. see a P.E.K.K.A. will go after its closest target and so now the closest target is this town hall and this mortar right here if I hadn't cleared all the way down to here the P.E.K.K.A. could have gone to where this wizard is right here and then it would have just marched around the outside same with the king as well so now that this whole area is cleared I got my golems going in I'm breaking this wall right here with wall breakers and the wizards are right behind the, the golems, and now here comes the P.E.K.K.A.s. I drop my clan castle and my king all at once. And as soon as the clan castle starts to attack my guys, I drop a heal spell on them to keep them healed so uh, they, they won't die very fast when being attacked, especially by like a dragon who does splash damage. So there goes the town hall. And now see my guys are going in, no problem. I've, and also another thing to know is I saved one uh, wizard here for just cleanup at the end. It's always good to save one or two wizards. I usually try to save three, but I, I was you know, too quick on the button there and dropped two of them out of my three. Now I raged in the middle here. The reason why I raged in the middle is for two reasons. One, normally the clan castle is in the middle, so you want to get that knocked out quick quick and uh, also the town hall is normally in the middle and with the clan castle it has a lot of HP as well so you want to get that knocked out quick especially with all these mortars still right here that's going to be just splash damaging into the middle also dropped my heal spell here to keep my troops healed up because of all that splash damage so now here they go they're working towards the middle this P.E.K.K.A. is going towards that towards that mortar but it gets wiped out by the wizards I got my king going up top with the golems and wizards. And now I rage my king here to just get him through this wall quickly. There he goes. Well, I don't rage him, but I give him his ability. He breaks through that wall. And now over here, I got my P.E.K.K.A. and my wizards just going to town on all this stuff over here. But I dropped my wizard here, my last wizard, to kill all this stuff over here so that when they break through this wall, the P.E.K.K.A. won't go down, but will go up towards this cannon. Because remember, the P.E.K.K.A. will go towards the closest 
item it has available to it and sometimes they just get stupid and will just wander off in some direction so you kind of really got to be careful and clear the area out so that you can direct your pekkas and here we go and they finished it off 100% all that loot plus 100,000 of each bonus it's pretty nice so again to recap I brought two golems two pekkas I had one pekka also in the clan castle 20 wizards and five wall breakers two heal spells and a rage and uh, it's really good if you got a clan that's got stronger pekkas then you can um, you know have a lot easier chance of three starring it's really easy to two star but to clinch that third star you need at least another level three pekka with you and uh, again, to recap, you want to be able to clear this entire area before you drop your P.E.K.K.A.S. and your hero because they will go to the closest target and if your closest target is down here that is not inside the wall, then it, it'll start just wandering around the outside of the base and I hate it when P.E.K.K.A.S. do that. So it's just something you need to learn is to clear the area so you can direct your P.E.K.K.A.S. Remember, you drop your golems first to trip any traps, to draw a lot of fire. Wizards behind the golems uh, to clear the area. A couple wall breakers to smash through any walls to get those golems in deep. And then P.E.K.K.A.S. and Giants. As soon as the clan castle starts to attack you, use a heal spell. And then use your rage spell when you're near the middle to be able to get rid of any more of those heavy buildings, with a, those heavy HP buildings. So um, good luck, you guys. Have a good day. And keep clashing. Bye.